video on this uh, chart. Uh, in the last video, we try to uh, practice this uh, placeholder uh, chart, but we uh, haven't uh, uh, the prepared our test uh, file. Uh, let's do this uh, the file preparation, then we can try the demo. So uh, we use this additional uh, video for this uh, uh, chapter 8.8. .8. Uh, and this uh, prepared uh, this uh, test file can be also used in the next chapter for the table. So, uh, because uh, as uh, so also mentioned, this uh, uh, in the PPT's uh, default, uh, the must, uh, slide must doesn't have the chart placeholder, and also they don't have the table placeholder. So let's uh, create a file including both. Uh, what we can do is uh, from the PowerPoint. Uh, let's create a new new file, just a blank. So let's uh, move this out. So from this uh, blank, is uh, we can view uh, our uh, slide master. So you can see here. So this one is uh, to uh, the text, and this is the uh, the this uh, flexible content. These are the text. These are the just the content. Uh, so you can see, it's, uh, even we have the empty ones, uh, this is a picture, uh, not the chart. So we can use that in the picture. Uh, so let's do here. So let's uh, uh, insert our, from here, let's uh, ins copy this and insert this one. So uh, delete this. And what you can do is you can use this insert placeholder, you can see here, uh, first, let's insert a chart, so you can draw from here to here, and then you can make this uh, aligned. So that is the chart placeholder. Uh, then let's uh, continue to remove this uh, chart and uh, create a table placeholder, and this uh, page will be used in the next uh, uh, chapter. Uh, and that let's uh, quit from this. Uh, uh, from here, we can close. Let's see the close. So we don't have this. We can see the normal. And let's uh, save. Save as to find this uh, more option. So from this, you can also build your own customized. Uh, uh, the, this uh, slide master uh, for your purpose. So let's do this. And we have part two, eight. And first we put that here. So that is the test, test PPTX as a safe. So that's the name is uh, here. Uh, and then the, I think is we can change this to open. So and we don't have any security control. So uh, since we have this, uh, let's try this 885. Let me create 885. It's a place holder chart. TY. So from here, let's uh, starting to get some of uh, the initial ones. So this is the first line, OK, second line, chart data, and we have the chart type. So we have here, so let's copy this, and we will load this uh, TX dot shapes. From here, we import the PP placeholder type. So those are the old things, and we load file not to create a new. So press present and it's here. So test dot pptx. And then the, I remember is we put that in the page three. So let's uh, see here is a slide is ppt slides add slide dot slide layouts as used to and we save and to verify pt dot save 
is 885 dbtx. Let's run and to oh, so package not found at here. So which package? dbtx. So which line? So in line oh, text or oh, test. So I put this uh, text. So it's not able to load. So we have our file, uh, have that, let's open. Oh, looks like it's uh, not, oh, this one is uh, open. So, uh, but uh, that's the add. So uh, it's due to, is uh, I already have our first page. So it's better, so we delete that to make this as uh, empty. And then when I run this again, uh, it will have uh, our new page. Oh, let me see. So let me save and let's uh, click this. So now this is our empty. And let's uh, click run this again. I want this, uh, my part is uh, just uh, the first part. So you can see click icon to add chart. So that's is number two. Uh, index and the num uh, next uh, chapter we use number three uh, uh, for the table. So that good for preparation. Then we have our uh, the placeholder. So let's uh, try this. Uh, so we can check because we have a title and we have our uh, the chart. So we need uh, some way to verify uh, to check whether we are doing the placeholder in the. Uh, the chart placeholder, placeholders. So using this, uh, uh, the looping, so PHF, we assign that to placeholder dot placeholder format. We use the format property to check, so PHF dot type. So let's uh, try to print this. So type is, uh, we have a tool. First is title, second is chart. That's uh, good. So let's uh, comment this. And then oh, we can use this if phf dot type doesn't equal to pp placeholder type dot chart. So we need chart. Then we continue. So it just uh, means we skip. Otherwise, it's, uh, we will assign chart data to chart data. Those are the same as what we have done for the just our uh, individual chart. So we have the chart data category. So let's see. So what we will going to do, we make our pie chart. Uh, let's go to the pie chart. Oh, so here is uh, I should type is uh, this is pie chart. There's also the pie chart. So within our pie chart, I think we have this one. So you can see this is same, and the category is same. Then we have the, uh, the data series. So we also have our sales volume with this one. So let's uh, just have uh, this copied first. Don't copy some unnecessary parts. Oh, let me close this and come to here. This one we need. And the chart data. So let's see whether not here is uh, here. No. So let's uh, type again. So add series digital. And then this is uh, purple. And then we will get the graphic free equal to placeholder dot insert. So using placeholder is not the add chart, it's the insert chart. It's just a different uh, syntax uh, and I use this as well so uh, chart 
pi xl chart type dot pi uh, and then we have our data type uh, chart data so because we have the placeholder we we don't need uh, uh, this uh, x y uh, with uh, length uh, is uh, defined by your placeholder so those are the graphic uh, frame uh, and then let's uh, run this now so it should already put something inside your placeholder so here you can see your placeholder now has one days uh, and let, let's uh, make this uh, legend so that's also uh, the same so graphic chart has legend equal to true so then we got a legend defined let's run this so you can see so with the placeholder uh, your chart is uh, more uh, the uh, uh, the uh, looks uh, uh, the good instead of you need to define the position of your chart so uh, but uh, since there is not in uh, the default uh, slide master in PowerPoint uh, you need to prepare or you need to customize the slide master and to add the uh, placeholder so uh, but you can already uh, use my test file uh, this uh, test the pptx already have uh, one image and uh, one chart and one table uh, so that is the uh, thing uh, i uh, i have uh, fi uh, finally done all the this uh, chart so uh, we have this uh, placeholder chart uh, just uh, demoed uh, and in this uh, chapter 9 we will uh, first uh, talking about how to insert and uh, read our table uh, oh this is to be a table and then uh, we will use the same a similar way to this uh, discuss the placeholder table so let's see uh, see you in the next video bye